Well, I don't know about you, Nicholas, but I think 4th of July, I think grilling, hot dogs, ribs, brats, all the good stuff. And we've got a special guest here today that's been grilling almost professionally, really, for a few years now. That's right. I have the same mindset as you. Mm -hmm. you know, we had Rib Fest just a couple weeks ago. Uh, we met Dave Hart there. You might have seen him on our newscast on Friday night uh, of the Rib Fest. I met him, talked to you with the local guy at Rib Fest cooking up. We're All trying the to great give it a food. try, that's right. And we're so <laughs> glad to have you in here today to give us some more tips. And we've moved away from ribs. We've got a great uh, chicken recipe. Let's start off on that. What do we need to know here? We're actually taking a whole chicken and going to do a roaster canned chicken today. They're okay. real simple to do. Everybody can do it. I use it, and I call this a pineapple chicken because I, instead of most drinks, beverages you can use, I like filling my can with pineapple juice. Ooh, and then I good. take the chicken, and then I take a normal rub. You can use any kind of rub you want, salt, pepper, anything, give it a good rub down, and then as you rub your chicken down, all you have to do is take it and place it on your can. Sometimes so you literally yeah, put the that can looks into like it the could chicken. Be a just like this. More difficult. Move. And it just constantly cooks the oh, juice wow. right out and moisturizes the chicken. Something very, very moist, very moist to it. And then you get little secrets where you can take the olive oil and wow your neighbors by making it have a suntan, make it nice and crispy and stuff. Gorgeous. Everybody would like that. And then the other simple thing is just regular peel and eat shrimp. You can take it and barbecue it and just put it on a stick, put a little barbecue sauce on it, cook yeah. it for, this only needs to cook for like two minutes and then it'll be ready. I mean, it's cooked very fast. It's already cooked. Wow. And your barbecue sauces that you can use is spicy, hot, whatever you like to do. And of course, we have the traditional hamburgers and hot dogs that you can Oh, cook. yeah. Everybody loves that. Rule is always burn a couple hot dogs. Everybody wants to burn hot yeah. dogs. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. There are always a few of those in the crowd. So. Uh, well, as far as the chicken recipe goes, how long do we cook that? How do we know this, when that's done? About 180 degrees or approximately one hour. One hour it takes doing this, and it cooks it and gives it a nice golden brown and stuff. And Well, magic of TV, we have one ready. Oh, yeah. Look hey, you this brought in the grill over here. Wow. Oh, that, oh, that looks, looks does so look beautiful. Delicious. And what a display, too. The presentation is uh, definitely a part of this meal, too. You got pineapple slices on the... Cut those up. The kids will eat. love eating those. They're very tasty. It has pineapple juice cooked through it. And, it's... and you grilled the pineapple, too? Yes, I do. And just throw it right on the grill as you're oh, cooking it right at the same delicious. time. It makes it easy and simple. And fast and everybody loves it. What so. can you tell me about this stand that you use? Is that something you can pick up pretty much these anywhere? These stands, this is a fancier one, but these stands you can pick up at any local hardware store, any big box store. They all carry them. They're very easy to do. They're very real inexpensive and it's something new to do with your food and spice it up and let everybody think you really spend a lot of time on it. Yeah, definitely. That's if we don't have a stand, is there uh, some trick around that or is the stand really If you're good key? with balancing a chicken on a can, yes, you can get it to stand in there, <laughs> but the stand works much better. But <laughs> well, it sounds might like have the, to work on that one, yeah. 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 <laughs> the stand sounds easy enough to pick up just in time for tomorrow. Right. These aren't things that you have to order in advance. You can no. find these and get a chicken and, and use And it's becoming the middle of the rest of the year. The stuff's going on sale. They're ready to move it, so you can get them real easy now. All right, Dave, thanks right. so much for coming Thank in you guys this morning. Very much. I'm, I'm already getting hungry now. It might be <laughs> 8.30 this morning, but things are looking good. Yeah, so we have more info on the recipes on our website on wayne.com. Dave, you said you also have a Facebook page. Yes, I have a Facebook page at DMH Low and Slow. You can go on there and leave any information or ask questions and I can help you with that. Great. Right. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you guys you. very much. Well, coming up next,